friends. Welcome back to Floral City, the real old Florida. My name is Shannon, and I'm very glad that you could join us today. Today's show is going to be talking about some of the businesses we have in Floral City and the art influence that we have in our community. It is stronger than you could even imagine. And again, it's one of those things in Floral City that's hidden behind just normal doors. Today we're going to be going to the Florida Artist Gallery. It has a collection of beautiful art, uh, all different mediums and, and, and styles, um, different cultures and backgrounds of the, the artists there. Um, we're gonna meet some of them and speak to them about the history. It actually is housed in one of the historic homes. We're gonna hear some of the history about that house. After that, we're gonna go up to Touch of Glass by Susan. And she has uh, stained glass and, and teaches classes and all kinds of things. I'm real excited personally about going to see her. I want to start out though by explaining a little bit about what you see behind me. Art is, art is an expression and it's an expression of human emotion and, and how we view things and feel things. Um, humans are one of the only people to create. It's in, enmeshed in our culture and in our nature, our very nature of our being. Here in Floral City you can see the art just abounds. Floral City is over a hundred years old. And though it may be small, it is still thriving, and art is a big part of that. So if I may for a moment, look behind me. This is called The Gift, and it was painted. It was actually, it's not quite finished yet. It's still, it's still in um, being done. It's called The Gift. It was presented to Floral City by Barbara Ramsey. Barbara Ramsey has flowers by Barbara here, and she's been a staple uh, in Floral City for a very, very long time. She's given a lot to our community, and this is just one other thing with all the murals that we have that she's given to the community of Floral City. The lady who painted this, her name is Rhonda Merrifield, and she's also an absolutely beautiful lady and very talented that we have here in Floral City. She got on this, and you saw her painting as I was coming through town. You'd see her painting different things here and there. Weren't sure what it was going to be, and here it is. Took her a long time to paint it. People kept stopping by and telling her, hey, there's something else here in Floral City. What about the sand cranes? So she added the sand cranes here. Barbara wanted a tree here for our creator and our Lord. That's what the dogwood's for. We've got a path that goes to our home. We've got animals, all the kind of birds, animals that you see here in Floral City, the flowers, woodpeckers. You don't even see all of the animals and all of the detail of this until you stop and look at it. So sometime when you're in Floral City and you come south of the light, please stop and look at this. It's an absolutely beautiful addition to Floral City, to our murals, to our culture, and to our art. So friends, I invite you to come along with me today. Follow me through our little tour of Floral City to experience some of the art and the culture that we have here in the real old Florida. Hi. Hi Hello, Shannon. how are you? Good, thanks. Welcome to the gallery. Thank you. It was good to see you. Hi, Bill. How are you? Good to see you. Hi, friends. Here we are at the Florida Artist Gallery, right across the street from the mural that we were just talking about. Um, I'd like to introduce you to two very incredibly talented um, people here in Floral City, and they're very big um, promoters of the history and the heritage and the culture and the businesses here in Floral City. Um, I'd like to introduce you to Ann Covington and Bill Covington. Ann is the owner, and Bill are the owners of the Florida Artist Gallery here. Um, and Bill also owns, he's home to business here in Floral City for 40 years, Co uh, Covington Design Works, it is. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna start by asking you, you know, what, you let us know, tell us what you do here. Take us through a little, if I was a customer coming in, what would I see? Well, we always like to welcome our customers and tell them that we're a gallery that represents 50 local artists. We like to support local. And so we have a lot of different mediums. This first gallery is mostly paintings and we can take a look around. We have watercolor, acrylic, abstract, mixed media, a lot of different paintings in here. And then we have several rooms uh, of paintings because as I say, we have paintings, sculptures, metalwork, pottery, wood turning, a lot of different things and a great amount of talent in Florence. And, well, not just Floral City, in the area. 
Mm -hmm. And if I might, you, you mentioned that this one is done on sandpaper. Yes, the that's, strawberries. that's a chalk pastel. And depending on medium you work on, it, it looks different. And she's really got the wonderful highlights and things showing by working on sandpaper. Okay, what's one. in the next room? Well, we have mostly photography, but a little more painting and uh, pottery and quite a few uh, different works in here. We try like and give room. most artists their own space. This is Frank Curtis and he's a photographer and he likes to embellish his frames and do a little something extra on the back of his photographs. And then around this corner we have Myrna, Myrna Bradshaw, and she's a great photographer. All our photographers are award-winning photographers and she does a lot of volunteer work and is a great support to the gallery and she's our artist on duty today. I was going to say, we have, we have the pleasure <laughs> of having her in person today. Yes, Myrna Bradshaw, right there. Yeah. Another one of our photographers is Larry Jordan. He's a local engineer, but he's also a photographer, and I think being an engineer, he enjoys the... Technical aspect. Yeah, the challenge of the technical side of photography. Oh, he's really captured some beautiful things there. You just feel yeah. like you're in the picture. Yeah. Then we have got uh, Francis Barnum, who does beautiful bronze sculptures and pewter and other mediums. He's also a historian and he's done a lot of Civil War art and we have the certificates of authenticity for all of these. And he has a second signature which is fun. Each one of them has a little bunny hidden in the sculpture. Oh, that's an interesting. Right. If you'd like to see, this one's an easy one to see. There it is. Oh, that's great. <laughs> Just one more thing to make it unique and, and give it his own touch. And then, of course, we have the ever-popular jewellery. We have several different jewellers. Uh, Candice, this is her jewellery on that side on the top shelf. And then we have bead choreographer, Roseanne. Her work is down there, Roseanne Straub. Oh, her work is wonderful, yeah. As you yeah. can tell, I should be like behind the bead counter. I've got, I love the jewellery. <laughs> yeah, and I'm wearing one of yes. Roseanne's. Beautiful. Uh, Yes, yeah, she's, she's not only a beautiful artist as well, but as, yeah. as most of them, she's a beautiful person too. We have some unique uh, leather, leather jewelry that's sculpted and painted leather by Glenda Ackley. All this jewelry, really fun and light and easy to wear. She does, that's a leather mosaic and even the motorcyclist is, it's all made out of leather. Linda Ryan is another jeweler who's a great instructor as well. She has a workshop every month. Not only do we have all of the artists in, in and around Floral City that create this beautiful stuff and they share it with us um, to sell it to us so that we can take it home and enjoy it, but they also teach others and they share their, their art and their gift with, with the community at large. And that is such a beautiful thing mm -hmm. to be able to pass on and share with, you know, with other people. And um, I know the, the next place we're going does that and you do a lot of different um, yeah, classes it, and things here. Every day we have different classes in our education center. And not only do we have classes, but we do presentations where we might show them how they paint our wonderful eggs, Basanki eggs. Oh. She gave a talk on how to do that, and this artist who does origami, she does workshops in origami. All these earrings are origami earrings. I just read a thing in the paper about her. Yes, there's a lovely article in yesterday's paper yes, about Yes, it was her. beautiful. Yes. And then we've got weaving and fiber arts, all different mediums, uh, at least materials, alpaca, cotton, acrylic, a nice mixture. Mm -hmm. And then she also does the wet felting, which is that one over there. So you can wear your art or it can look, be hanging on your wall and look great. That's um, wonderful. John Romain, he does pencil work, colour pencil mostly, and he has an ongoing class every Monday. We are a gallery with members. They all have to be a member of the Florida Artists Gallery. All potential artists do go through the jury process. We have a review team and they can rev we'll review their art and they can apply. And not only we do we look at the quality, people are so surprised at the quality of art. We've got some wonderful artists, so mm -hmm. we look at the quality and their medium. If it's something we don't have, or you know, we'd want to keep it balanced so there's something for everybody. Well, and like you said, you listen to your patrons. 
you the, listen to the people and what they want and try to try to bring that in too. That's a huge part of yeah, community. We have a gallery survey and we encourage our patrons to fill out the survey and every month we do a drawing for a free dessert because we are about to head into the yes, cafe. Yes, that, that was, <laughs> let's go, I'm smelling yeah. it as we stand here. I, I should have could smell it. Yeah, some of our great pottery. Oh, that's beautiful. Now this is our cafe area and Laurie Coles is in the kitchen. I wish you could smell all the great smells. We cook from scratch every day and she does almost all the cooking for us. Hi Laurie. <laughs> how you doing? Good, how are you? It smells amazing. <laughs> we can seat eight people at this table. But as you see, we are a small cafe. We like to keep everything fresh and friendly and uh, healthy. We have a lot of gluten-free options. Everything's cooked from scratch. We bake our own ham, roast the chicken. We do everything ourselves here to keep it healthy. The art in the cafe will be taking down uh, tomorrow evening because every month we have a new exhibit in our cafe. We're so very fortunate. I mean, people think about Floral City. You would never think that a town like Floral City would have an art gallery, let alone a beautiful little tea room and, and um, cafe like this. Um, and it, it's just such a gift to have all of these people from cultures, from different cultures, from around the world to influence us and our, our southern redneck way of life. <laughs> and There's uh, so many interesting people in Floral City from everywhere in the world. Well, and that is, it's an eclectic, talented, friendly country culture here. And you know, the, the art gallery, everybody in Floral City is so friendly and giving and sharing. And I think that's what makes it such a beautiful community. We build community, you know, by, by the people that are here. They care and they're passionate um, about what they do, about their neighbors, about their families, and it really shows. It, it brings a cohesiveness and, a, and an eclectic um, charm, you know, to, to a small southern town. And uh, it's, a, it's a one of a kind. It's a one of a kind treasure. It's, it's definitely a hidden gem.